video over. What's up, y'all? This is Erica. I really wanted to come back and talk about Ah Tatiana Jefferson, the young woman who was murdered in her home in uh, Fort Worth, Texas, uh, by a police officer who was um, called. The cops were called to her home for a welfare check, and during the welfare check, she was murdered. Her neighbor called because all the lights were on and the doors were open and he didn't see any movement in the house. I don't know why anybody didn't call her name or anything. I just don't know why no one said her name. I don't understand it. I don't get it. He has quit. He is not um, cooperating with the investigation and the, inve and the FBI is investigating it. His bond is set at $200,000. I'm not going to even mention his name. I'm not. Um, but I just feel bad, one, for her family, of course, who has said that they want a thorough, transparent investigation because I just don't understand why no protocol was followed. I read the article on Saturday. I heard about this on Saturday. And... I shared it on Twitter and I asked some, some people who live in Texas was like, I haven't even heard about it yet, but it went viral yesterday. They parked, according to the article that I read from Fort Worth Star Telegram or something like that. That's the name of the, the, um, the publication or the newspaper. I read that the cops parked behind or around the corner. Like, I don't, I just don't under I don't understand why they did why what they did why they did what they did. We need answers and it needs to be more than a 10 year sentence. It needs to be more it needs to be a life sentence. Period. Y'all are really acting up in Fort Worth. Fort Worth PD has killed eight people that in the has shot eight people in the in this year alone and seven of those people have died. One article I read that this 19 year old black man, boy, he was um, in some type of situation at, at a house and was using kids as a shield and was hiding in the closet. And when the cop found him in the closet, he put the gun, he put the guy's gun in the air and shot the guy in the head. When did y'all start doing headshots? Like, this is crazy. I mean, I guess in that situation where he's holding kids in front of him, but I just don't understand. They get to her house, body cameras follow it. They get to her house. They're walking around the perimeter of her house. They haven't announced themselves. They haven't called her name. Miss Jefferson, are you home? She would have said yes. Like I just, ah, uh, what the fuck is going on? I truly believe. And I say, you can watch old videos of mine that I feel like law enforcement agencies have been given a carte blanche. Whenever you come in contact with anybody black, just kill them, no matter what, because we got to get rid of these niggas. That's what I feel like. I feel that way. Because this woman, as he goes around the perimeter, he's whispering like they're intruders. Number one, you're in Texas. Everybody got a gun in Texas. That's one. Number two, you're walking around the perimeter of her home not announcing yourself, not saying you're the police department, not calling out nothing. You walk around, you sneaking around the perimeter of her home. You get to a window and you see someone in the window and shoot. And then they're going to take pictures from the inside of the room where she was, where she was killed. There, there's a gun in there. No shit. I would have had my firearm out too. You, I don't know who's walking around the perimeter of my home. I don't, I can't hear you. Nobody's calling my name. I got my gun out too. I, saw, I, I, I swear to God, I wish she would have shot his ass first. But if she would have shot his ass first, she'd be in jail for the rest of her life. Can, I, you know I'm telling the truth. So, honey sore. You know, B.I., she's, she's, she, they done killed that girl. I can't believe it. I was just like, this is crazy. And I am becoming des des desensitized to this because I was just like, this is sad and I know what's going to happen and that's it. You know what law enforcement agencies were created. You know what police patrol, the slave patrol was, crea was created for 
to catch runaway slaves. And now because there is no such thing in, as slavery outside of the prison system, either kill them or put them in jail. So we can either get rid of them or put them back in slavery. That's how I see it. Too many people, too many people. And we're the only country in the world where in a year, police have killed over 700 people. Fucking bitch. Yeah, get from behind me, please. Get from behind me. Because y'all driving crazy. Anyways, y'all, I just really wanted to come in and, you know, just talk about that real quick because... I don't know i really believe that neighbor the resolution neighborhood watch because if you can't call the cops to do a welfare check on somebody and they don't wind up dead from the cop who's supposed to do the welfare check honey because he didn't feel comfortable the neighbor didn't feel comfortable i wish he would have just called her name just called her name i tatiana are you in there she would have said something. She would have been alive. All y'all had to do was say her name. I'm out of here. Peace.